So how do you outrank a nine figure business? I'm going to show you. So we're going to look at Dr. Squatch and this is sort of like an audit dash. What do we do? And why I say that is because first thing that pulls up is a missing favicon. So the point of this video is to show you that even the biggest companies, some of the giants in the industry that you think you're never going to be able to outperform, there are always weaknesses that you can use to outrank it. And we're going to actually be looking at mobile and so I, I'm recording from this angle because I'm going to need to show you some stuff on my phone. So these guys have domain authority. They have a lot of content, they have pages, they have a lot of impact links. So we really need to be at like our peak game to be able to outrank them. And the desktop view is pretty great. I mean, there's a few things like, let's just click on this product, for example. It could have been not long, could have been a bit quicker. Um, the bit of a delay in a slow time here. And so really like what we're looking at is product optimization, page speed. How can we make this thing super fast, uh, optimize the products perfectly and really just like nitpick tiny details that we can improve. So for example, very small details, we go down to the shopping bundle. This is out of stock. That can be improved. Why is it out of stock? It's killing their conversion. There should be something that's automatically going to display a bundle that is in stock. I've clicked on the bundles and it took a second to load. Even now, still loading. This could be fast that we can improve this. That's also killing their conversions. And for most businesses, that would make a difference. But when you're working on such a big scale, these small things make a huge difference. So you put up the mobile and check there. There's still a missing favicon. So let's check the mobile loading time. I'm just on a random product here and I'm going to hit the product. Yeah, let's do it for this one. Could be faster. We're going to do the same thing. We've got the menu open here. I'm just going to select a random one. I'll get that load. So I know these things seem tiny, but on this level, like you can just really improve these things, improve the product descriptions, etc. So really, really what you're doing here is you're just trying to outperform their sites. You're just trying to make it faster. You're trying to improve the load times. Um, I think a lot of minimizations, a lot of optimization, you'll probably have to go in and actually do some liquid coding itself. So yeah, you could probably go filter like the easiest keywords in the fourth to 10th position. Um, and just make some knockoff pages at least start like outranking the traffic, start bringing some of the traffic in for yourself. I mean, already the traffic cost of that is like 1.4K. So if you knew, then you should get a lot of ideas from their super easy keywords in the fourth to 10th position and start outranking there. Cause I mean, that's going to be a way into getting in them into the one to three position. So yeah, pulling up their page speed insights, their OCP is in the red of 6.7, 5.9. Um, and yeah, I mean, like usually OCP and like page speed stuff isn't something I necessarily recommend for you to put most of your attention in. You should be putting your attention into creating content, to building your domain authority, to actually ranking, targeting specific keywords. However, if you're going big, if you're a big site, if you have a company that's anywhere between seven, eight or nine figures, you would expect for your load time, your speed, your page indexing to be a lot faster.